There is Mercier with one bounty to his name and Pocket Kings. Mercier has two European Poker Tour titles. A raise to 1,700. Over to Moneymaker, ace, king of clubs in the big blind. Chris would just love to put another big title onto his resume. Chris with two players already in the pot. A re-raise to 4,100. You have three 5K chips. Mercier with the kings. Mullen. Moves all in. He has both Glance and Moneymaker covered. Glance folds. A call. And a call from Moneymaker. Moneymaker at risk and behind. He started the hand with almost 40 big blinds, and it looks like ace-king suited might be his last hand. Jason Mercier in position to collect Moneymaker's bounty as Moneymaker exits the scene. You should have to stay at the table. Brett Favre doesn't heave one up for grabs and run to the sideline and drink some Gatorade while waiting to see if it's intercepted. <laughs> All right, here we go. Chris Moneymaker awaiting his fate. Maybe it's time for him to find a new line of work if he can't watch all in flops. The flop is 10 trade jack, two clubs. Wow! Moneymaker now favored with a royal flush draw and one overcard. Yeah, Moneymaker might win the hand now. What, he's going to be out Spending. wandering the strip when he hits his royal flush in a moment? <laughs> Turn card, eight of spades, mercy or dodges trouble. He's now favored to knock out Moneymaker. Well, Chris now should be halfway to his car because he is about to lose his hand. River card, queen of clubs. Are you kidding? A royal flush for Chris Moneymaker. If you're going to win, that's how you win. No, you stay at the table and watch your fate. That's how you win. Scott Seaver, his buddy Isaac Haxton, just called Peter Eastgate's all in for a chance to win that table. Eastgate with King Queen off. Haxton trying to end it with 9 8 of diamonds. Haxton, a 3 to 2 dog here, trying to rid himself of pesky Peter Eastgate. All right, Eastgate at risk and ahead. Here's the flop. It is 7 6 10. Is that a good flop? Wow, Dear Haxton God. flops a 10 high straight. Wow. And that flop gets Peter Eastgate up to start gathering his personal effects. I guess world champions don't run good on every hand. <laughs> All right, now. Turn card. Haxton fully in control. It is an that's ace. And that sends a shiver through Haxton. Eastgate does pick up a gut shot. He would need a jack and a jack only, or Isaac Haxton advances. River card is the jack. Wow. Eastgate was this close to elimination and catches perfect, perfect for Broadway. Even if we watch that on replay, I wouldn't believe it seeing it a second time. Haxon flops a straight, then Eastgate goes runner, runner for a higher straight. David Paredes, 30-year-old from Brookline, Mass, 6'5 of clubs. He went to Harvard. That means he's got money and he's got smarts. That's tough to beat. A raise of two times the big blind and a little more, 135,000. Tom Marchese with pocket tens, 22-year-old makes the call. PokerStars.net created the European Poker Tour, the Asian Pacific Poker Tour, the Latin American Poker Tour, and now the North American Poker Tour. That's a lot of tours. Sam Stein in the big blind, chip leader, 10-8 of diamonds. Stein, another Magic the Gathering grad. Magic is quite a training ground for big time poker. Stein calls for 75,000 more, a three-way flop. And the flop is 10. Trey, Trey Marchese with a full boat. That will ease any final table jitters he may have had. Stein drawing dead with two pair. Paredes needs a straight flush to win this hand. Stein checked, Paredes checks. Marchese probably wants to check the nuts here. He does check, no reason to scare anybody off now. Turn card four of diamonds. Marchese can't be beat, but Paredes now has an up and down straight draw and Stein with a flush draw. What a great turn card for Marchese. The others improved and they're drawn dead. Stein with tens and trays bets 220,000. Paredes open-ended. Calls. Marchese's thinking, there's a bet and call in front of me, and I'm sitting here with a nut full house. I love the NAPT. There's a smooth call from the 22-year-old. And all three will see a river card. It is a red deuce, a terrible card for Paredes as he hit a straight. Stein first to act. He still likes his two pair. 430,000. Stein contributes 430,000 chips to the Tom Marchese Health and Welfare Fund. And a raise from Paredes to 1.13 million. Paredes contributes 1.13 million to the Tom Marchese Health and Welfare Fund. All in. Marchese so all sick. in. Yeah, four. I'm so sick. Paredes should not be talking with Stein still in the hand. I guess they don't teach poker etiquette at Harvard. Stein folds. Paredes next. 
That's William Reynolds, a friend of Marchese's. They shared a house in Vegas together when they were starting out. I was here for us. Show me if I fold. I don't think so. Paredes with a six high straight. Yeah, uh, whatever, nice hand. Marchese played it to perfection and the cards cooperated. He got an extra one and a half million chips of dead money into the pot on the river. Thank God you didn't show me a bluff. Oh my God. What a hand for Marchese flopping the nuts and doubling up without getting a call. He's got pocket tens. And he has the steely eyed look of a champion now. What was Sam Stein thinking on that last hand? Raised to half million from Marchese. Four deuce of spades from Stein. And Stein will play the bottom end of the spectrum and call. Here we go to the flop. It is 4-5-9 Marchese with an over pair to the board. Stein picks up bottom pair again. Bottom pair usually good and heads up, but once again, a bad time for Stein to hit bottom pair. Stein did check. Marchese will bet it. 675,000 with his pocket tens. That's a similar sized flop bet as we saw Marchese make the previous hand. And Stein will call. We've seen this before. The calling station calls. Turn card now. A tray of clubs. Marchese still ahead with those tens. Stein adds an up and down straight draw and checks again. Well, that card gives Sam Stein a little more hope in this hand, but he better hit something soon. He's bleeding chips. Marchese, 1.8 million and change. Sam Stein staring at one small pair and an up and down straight draw. Heck, he might even raise here. Stein needs to do something to change it up. But Norman once again with a call. He can't seem to get away from his low pairs. River card is another 10, a set for Tom Marchese. He's got a grip on this hand. Sam is dead, dead, dead in this hand. And checks the river. All in. Marchese raises Stein all in. Sam can't possibly call this. If he does, this tournament will be over. What a dramatic moment for everybody in the Venetian poker room. What is Sam Stein thinking? This is for his remaining chips. Sam might think Marchese has two big cards in his posture the whole way. If Sam folds here, he's still just a double up away from the chip lead. I call him. Stein calls, which means Tom Marchese is the 2010 NAPT Venetian main event champion. A stunning and quick end. Congratulations to Tom Marchese. What was Sam Stein thinking? Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.